Okay, no? So, good morning class, no? So, actually, I want to add uh, risk and rates of return topic. So, this is actually not included, no, in um, Accounting 171 Financial Markets because we have fully covered that, no, the topic. But still, I wanted to discuss because this is very important. So, I don't think that you have taken this up already in your previous um, finance topics, no? So, here we will discuss um, risk and the rates of return. Okay, so for this topic, let's just assume that we have um, three companies, Paramount, T-Rex, and McHale. And we have shown here, provided here, their returns, no? Um, their returns on their stock, no? Stocks return on five years, no? 2016 to 2020, okay? So we have for Paramount, we have 8%, 6% stock return, negative, 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 no? So for T-Rex, we have this values, the expected returns, and it has a negative one here. And for McHale Company, we have this um, consistent positive returns. So in this session onwards, we will discuss um, what are the risks, Okay, and how do we make choices no um, if we want to um, invest no in additional stock um, which among the stock should we choose no okay so um, let's just assume that uh, maybe we we are the paramount and we want to choose whether we want to add t-rex or we want to add mckay so for now, no, our assumption is we are an individual investor, no, um, looking at which among the three are good, or in addition, no, um, if if we are already investors of Paramount, which among these stocks should we add to our portfolio? So again, ha, that is our uh, story. Okay, class, so again, no, um, all business assets are expected to produce cash flows and that the riskiness of an asset is based on the riskiness of its cash flows. So, so what I mean is the riskier the cash flows, the riskier the asset, di ba? So, kung yung cash flow ng um, asset natin is parang alon, pababa, patas, pababa, patas, then it's, it's risky, no? It's much risky than a more stable or consistent asset no so again no we have categorized assets no as financial assets no especially stocks and bonds no so kasali na din yung mga uh, trucks machines or seg business segments okay so in theory risk analysis for all types of assets is similar no so itong mga fundamental concepts na i-discuss natin apply to um all assets pero yun na nga since um uh, yung magkaiba-iba yung available data, no? So, magkaiba-iba din yung procedure for stocks, bonds, and real assets, no? So, going on, no? A stock's risk, no? Um, can be considered in two ways. On a standalone or single stock basis or in a portfolio context, no? So, ano yung ibig sabihin natin pag standalone? So, standalone is tinitingnan natin yung uh, risk ng stock, no? If Assuming if we hold only that one stock, no, that single stock, okay. So, um, tinitingnan natin if yung risk na ma, uh, na ma, ma perceive natin is lower, no, than the expected return ng pokuha natin dyan na stock. So, that's how we evaluate a single stock. So, dapat yung expected return na makukuha natin should expect, uh, exceed, no, uh, much higher than the risk no na ma nakikita natin. So we also have risk on a portfolio context no. So we sabihin sa portfolio context, um multiple stocks are combined and saka yung mga uh, returns or cash flows nila are also analyzed no. So tinitingnan natin no. So in a portfolio context, nagagamit natin dito si CAPM no uh, model and tinitingnan natin dito yung two components, the diversifiable risk at saka yung market risk. So, if we can see here, no, Paramount actually has the lowest returns, no, lowest returns as compared to them and actually the highest risk, no, as compared to T-Rex and McHale, no. So, 
if actually Paramount would go no into merger and acquisition to partner up or team up no um with its peer companies um comparing no its risk and return to uh, to peer um in the uh, companies would be the start no so T-Rex actually has ha the highest return as compared to McHale no 21% to 12 13% uh, while McHale actually has the lower risk no um 0.005 no versus 16% no so how do we evaluate this um, situation when one company one stock has the higher return while the other stock has the low return because um, generally investors want high returns but we want low risk no so um, how do we determine no kung sa perspective ni paramount kung sino yung mas maganda i-add niya no so we look at the coefficient of variation so Coefficient of variation is the best criterion as it incorporates both risk and return no, as expressed in risk per unit. No? So actually, the lower the coefficient of variation, the lower the risk. So hence, the lowest no, um, risk here is McHale, no? 0.04%. So now, if we try to um eliminate some risk no by joining them in a portfolio context no diversifying risk no eliminating the diversifiable risk we will look at how they are related to each other so um let's look at paramount and t-rex so actually paramount and t-rex they belong to the same industry construction equipment industry yun uh, it talaga yung main competitor ni paramount as t-rex is also a construction equipment manufacturer so more or less they have the same um uh, the same um operations no the same customers so let's compare them no so actually um they have a positive correlation coefficient of 0.89 no so positive uh, um paramount and t-rex are positively correlated stocks no um their expected return moves up and down together no so because they are in the same um, industry so therefore a portfolio consisting of these stocks is actually as risky as individual stocks no so kung if join mo si Paramount and T-Rex, the same risk as if si Paramount lang yung hold mo or si T-Rex lang yung hold mo. Thus, um, Paramount and T-Rex might not be a good match, no? So let's look here, no? Paramount and McHale. So actually, Paramount and McHale are competitors in the food service industry, okay? So um, the coefficient, uh, correlation coefficient is negative 0.23. So Paramount and McHale, no, are negatively correlated. So, um, some risk can be diversified away by combining them. So, if Paramount, no, should Paramount consider M&A, no, merger and acquisition, McHale would be a good fit and it's also a blooming industry and there's too much opportunity there. So, McHale is actually a very good candidate.